Morning, Andoni. Morning. Um, I'm beaten in three Premier League games. You picked up seven points from nine. A really brilliant performance against Aston Villa at the Vitality at the weekend. I said to you last week, what have you done to change things? What's different? You said to me, nothing. Surely you've done something different because this looks like a very different team from a few weeks ago. Yeah, probably I wouldn't go just the last three games. I think uh, from the Wolves game, even the first half was, was not bad. That game, I think we've been improving and now we are getting the results. But it's true that we have, uh, we still need more points, you know, because uh, we've been so many games without uh, without uh, winning. So now we are doing better. We're improving in the standings, but we we need to keep uh, keeping this 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 level, these uh, performances, because uh, the competition is what uh, what the, uh, it demands from us. Uh, I cannot say you say it's nothing. No, it's not nothing. But it's not just one factor. Is I suppose is matter of a little bit of a schedule, you know, because we had a really, really tough schedule, a little bit of everyone understanding each other better, uh, uh, players uh, improving individually, physically, and uh, we have some players right now in a very good moment. And now what we need to do is, especially this month that we play so many games, we need to, to take profit, you know, we are now, I think, in a good moment. So we need to to continue uh, taking the, the points in, in this moment because normally during the seasons we will have also moments where we are not so well or we are not so 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 clean and uh, we have to to take our chances now. What does it say about the team and the performance, the fact that you're disappointed you didn't win against an Aston Villa side that could have gone second? Yeah, I think uh, especially you know when you receive the goal in the 19th minute, and after missing so many clear chances, I would say no because we had really clear chances. Uh, the, the keeper was really good, but uh, it's what uh, happens against these uh, top-level teams. Uh, you don't take the chances; they will punish you. I think I'm, I'm happy because we we defended really well the other day. We defended really well. We could improve things, yes, but the both both of the goals they score, they they are more because they did very well than our mistakes. Can you give me an insight into what you're doing on the training pitch? Because Dom Solanke is having his best ever Premier League goal scoring season. Ryan Christie looks like he's playing the best football of his career in a different position. Lewis Cook is playing the best football he's ever played since he arrived at Bournemouth many years ago. What are you doing with these players on the pitch? What have you put into their mindset, their mentality? What have you changed? No, it's uh, it's more on them. It's more on them because uh, we have some players, the ones you uh, spoke about, some others who are performing really, really well. But it's uh, it's because they have the level. They have this level. It's good for us. You talked about Dom. He scored the other day and he missed some chances. I love when our number nines miss chances because at the end, with the quality they have, you know, it's a, uh, the, the goals will arrive. And I think uh, also Ant have uh, he had two very good. He scored and even he had more more chances. Uh, Justin Taff, I think they are being close to to the to the goals, and I think it's something we have to. To keep uh, maintaining, no, because at the end is what, what what makes the difference. It feels like a more confident team. It feels like there's a, a positive buzz around the training ground, around the football club. Have you inst have you tried to work on that mindset, that mentality, that confidence, that that belief? Have you been trying to put that within your players? No, I, I, I even when we were losing the games, I had uh, no complaints because everyone has been pushing very hard. Everyone has been. Uh, trying to improve, trying to to make things better collectively, and it's normal now. We are having better results. No, everyone is 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 feeling better. You can see that everyone is more confident. They try uh, uh, different things on the ball. I think uh, we could see very good quality details, no, from especially the offensive players, and. Uh, the only thing we have to know is that if we are not in this kind of, you know, of level, mentally, technically, 
uh, it's not gonna be enough. So we have to keep uh, the same standards or even even higher ones. There was a couple of players that came off at the weekend. Have you got anyone coming back? What's the latest injury news ahead of the Crystal Palace game? No, we we, we have to wait because uh, it's very very tight between games. We have to wait uh, this this training how everyone feels. We have a couple of players that they are not feeling very well, but with I don't know I don't think it's going to be a, a definitive. But with calls, you know, with uh, feeling a little bit poorly, but I hope everyone is is ready again to to help us. Uh, against Palace. So no, no one that played at the weekend? No, no injuries, no, no. Up next, Crystal Palace, a side that are struggling themselves actually under Roy Hodgson at the moment, the most experienced manager in the Premier League, just one win at Selhurst Park this season. Through your analysis, what have you learnt about their side? Because very structured, very organised and they have match winners in Eze and Elise that can transform games. Yes, I think it's a team that is above us. Is, 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 uh, we have the chance no, to, to, to close this gap, but they've been above us from the beginning of the season. It's also, uh, from what people say, and I've heard, it's a very difficult stadium to perform. It's really tough to play there, so we have to be ready to to start in the in the front foot. And I would say they have very, very good individuals. I, I think their two centre-backs are very, very good on the ball, off the ball, defensively uh, and up front, uh, like all the teams in the Premier League. But uh, you could see, you know, uh, Edward is scoring a lot of goals. Olise now, last games has been playing very well. They have a lot of individuals, but we have to re be ready uh, for, like we did against against Aston Villa the other day, you no? Know? Give them as 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 few chances as we can because uh, it's it's uh, what the competition demands. Thank you. Thank you. What do you make of um, Roy Hodgson's longevity, his adaptability, his everything about him that's meant that he's still at the top level at, at this advanced age? Uh, for me, uh, it's a pleasure to face Roy Hodgson. No? Someone has made so many things in football. Uh, still been uh, so competitive. We could see it past season, this season again. He has been uh, adapting his team. You now they have a couple of different structures. We'll see what we face uh, tomorrow. But uh, it's uh, someone who has shown his level for so many years. You no, know, that uh, for me. I like to, to, to face him and for me it's, it's, it's going to be a pleasure, yes. What reaction would you get if you went home today and said, Mrs. Irola, I'm going to be a manager for the next 35 years, like Roy? I don't think, <laughs> I don't think, I don't think I will be. I think it's, it has to be very, very hard and also very difficult because you have to, to, to be successful. Not every single season, but most of the seasons, you know, to be coaching for for so long, and uh, I don't, I don't see myself, I don't see myself for for so long. Well, what's the most impressive thing about it? Is it retaining the energy, the hunger, being able to change your approach? To to be a manager for that length of time is extraordinary. I think you will have to ask him. No, we'll have to ask him. But it looks really difficult. Really difficult. You have to be a Top level manager to do these things, to keep the the hunger, the you know the, the he adapts because football goes very quickly and you have to adapt every single season. But for someone to do it for so long, I think it's it has to be someone very very smart, very very ready for for small changes, and I th uh, it looks like he is yes. As far as your squad, you mentioned to Mark about. You know, even the Wolves game when things, you know, you saw perhaps a little change there. I was wondering that the players have clearly been working very hard for you from day one. They've they've been uh, adapting to your system. I wondered if there was a moment when you saw them start doing things automatically, or if you saw a change in their belief that they thought, yes, this this is going to bring success. Um, I think our message has been quite clear and. 
the players have been ready to work hard and to play this way from the beginning is the only way. If we have doubts, we cannot play like this because we we will leave a lot of space behind. They will find our weaknesses. They will exploit to play like this. Everyone has to be fully committed. And we've had this from the beginning and, and things uh, had or didn't work at the beginning, but everyone was trying to help as much as they could. And probably we would, we had to be more clear on the message. Probably um, it, it takes some mistakes also, you know, sometimes you have to make the mistakes to analyze the video to see, okay, maybe we can change this. We are too late or too early or, or the, the, the press is to, just to, to have everything to, to be smoother, no? And I think uh, the last games we've been obviously much, much better, especially uh, out of the ball, I would say. And this makes the offensive side a little bit easier. And it's meant that you're creating so many more chances. The, the, the last three games, you've played two teams sort of around or in the top four. But those three games, you've, you've had 50 chances at goal. Is that... You know, is is that something we're now going to see consistently? You know, 20 chances a game. This is what we would like. Uh, I don't know if it's sustainable this level of chances we are creating in the last games, but it's what is where we want to go. Where we want to go. We know that game to game is, is different. Uh, strategies, different uh, oppositions you are facing. Sometimes you can go more aggressive. Sometimes you have to wait a little bit more. But I think we are being quite dangerous, especially in transitions. When we recover, we are really two passes. Everyone is running to the spaces, attacking very well the spaces. And it's something that I would like to keep and even improve for, for the rest of the season. Yeah. I don't want to finish on a low, but you have conceded in injury time to, to drop points a few times now. Is there is that something you can sort of nail down on reasons why? Yeah, I remember Brentford's games and the other day, no, the two games that at the end you lose four points. They are so so difficult to to achieve, no. But um, I feel we are finishing physically very well the games. I wouldn't go that that side, and uh, especially the other day, I didn't feel like we were conceding too much or we were getting lower. We still we were maintaining quite far the opposition, but it's true that. Sometimes you have to admit uh, that they, they can make the, the play they did. Probably I would go more in the other side and try whenever you are winning, you are having the chances, just go, score, finish it and don't give them the, the chance to, to, to score the equalizer.